couple of years ago, I got a Yamaha keyboard with an input for a breath controller. Brilliant, except these Yamaha breath controllers are very sought after and expensive on eBay. But the input is just three wires, two power rails and an analog signal. So I built my own breath controller, using the same protocol. This is actually the second one I've built, which has the external controls for offset and gain. Inside it is just a piezoelectric pressure sensor and an op-amp. And this tube is connected to standard mouthpiece from a melodica. Works reasonably well. Uh, I couldn't actually compare it to the real thing until I bought one. This is a Yamaha BC-1 and I can now confidently say that mine is better. This has an external adjustment for offset but no way of adjusting the gain or the flow rate um, which mine has. You can set the flow rate on this plastic tube here. There's a series of holes drilled and you slide the silicon. The more holes you expose, the more flow. But Neither of these breath controllers were good enough. They're okay for slow swooping effects, but simply no good for fast articulation like I can get on my melodica. If you're not aware, a melodica is essentially an accordion with the bellows replaced with a mouthpiece. Sounds simple, but how many other wind instruments are polyphonic? type of tonguing is simply impossible with those breath controllers. Yes, they're analog, but the signal is quantized by the keyboard scan rate, then squeezed through the MIDI bandwidth and quantized again by the synth's buffer. That might only be a few milliseconds, which is fine for keyboard playing, but not good enough for breath control. Even if you interpolate it, it just doesn't feel right. You really need almost the bandwidth of a microphone. So, we have an analog voltage representing how hard we're blowing. Why not just send that straight to a voltage-controlled amplifier? Well, the easiest way to build a voltage-controlled amplifier is to take an LED and an LDR. Uh, use a resistor to turn voltage into a current, LED turns current into light, LDR turns light into resistance, then stick the LDR in a potential divider or amplifier circuit or whatever. A lot of people laugh at this idea, and I admit I had some doubts it would be good enough. But when you think about it, we use optocouplers all the time, and they have tens of kilohertz of bandwidth. In addition, because I've kept it passive and isolated, there's absolutely no risk of ground loops. No matter what audio we send through it, the breath controller is powered totally separately. Here it is, my ridiculous prototype. It's a lot messier than it needed to be, because I built it in mono to begin with, then realized, hmm, probably would have been better in stereo, which means two LEDs and two LDRs. They're inside the black heat shrink here, to keep out ambient light. Audio goes in this end, audio comes out that end, power connects to that jack, and the breath controller, using the same Yamaha protocol, connects there. So I've just made up a patch which has quite a lot of motion to it. Here's that patch in isolation. Now I'm going to stick this tube in my mouth and go ta 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 ta. It's marvellous. No, that wasn't much of a performance, but it's pretty difficult to convey what this feels like and just how sensitive it is. I was astonished. I mean, it's, it's even more responsive than a real melodica. However, there are a couple of places where this could be improved. First of all, it's a physical module, and that was a software synthesizer, so this has to be last in the signal chain. I couldn't apply reverb or anything like that unless I had an external module for it. Secondly, there's the dynamic range issue. 
Now I've noticed on the Yamaha keyboards they apply quite a heavy correctional curve to the input voltage, which I'm not doing here. The problem is, if I blow twice as hard, I get twice the amplitude out, which is not the same thing as twice the volume. Now I think maybe we could do something about this by changing the resistance in line with the LEDs, so that they, they're more exponential in their brightness, but uh, room for improvement there. Also, I didn't match the LEDs before building it, because I built just one channel on its own first. So they, they do have slightly different forward voltages, I think, and it's not quite equal between the two stereo channels. So maybe it would have been better to use one LED and two LDRs. Finally, the whole package could be better. I mean, this is just a prototype. I've tried using this in a jam and it's a bit of a faff with all the cables everywhere, so it'd be nice to have just a solid module that just did what it needed to. And maybe get rid of the Yamaha protocol entirely, because I don't I don't foresee myself ever using that again. This is just so much better. So, if you want to learn more about this, there's schematics and stuff on my website, mitzella.com. Take a look if you're interested.